Hello, in this presentation, we will work short answer calculation questions, types of test questions that could be on a multiple choice type question or short answer questions with some limited calculations. First question, company had beginning equity of 83,000, revenue of 123,000, expenses of 76,000 and withdrawals by owner of 10,100. Calculate the ending equity. We will start here with beginning equity and we had beginning equity of 83,000. Revenue is going to increase equity. Remember that uh, net income increases equity. Net income calculated as revenue minus expenses. Therefore, revenue increases net income and increases equity. Then we have expenses which would decrease equity. Remember that net income uh, would increase equity and net income calculated as revenue minus expenses mean that expenses will decrease net income and therefore decrease equity. I'm going to put that in as a negative. And then we have the withdrawals. I'm just going to call it draws. And that's going to decrease equity. Equity representing what is owed to the owner. Net income, I mean draws, not part of net income but will still bring equity down representing what the owner has basically drawn out of the company. If it was a corporation, it would be, it would be uh, dividends that would be uh, leaving the company going to the shareholders. Therefore, I'm gonna put this as a negative 10,100. Then the ending balance in equity would be the sum. Now I'm summing these up, meaning it's gonna add the 83 plus the 123 minus the 76,000 minus the 10,100, that being the 119,900 um, here. So that's going to be the answer. Remember that when we're looking at equity, we're talking about beginning balance plus net income, net income calculated as increasing in revenue, decreasing in expenses, and then draws are going to decrease the equity as well, although not part of the net income calculation. That will give us the ending equity. So beginning equity plus revenue minus expenses minus draws. Next question. If the assets of a business increased 111,000 during a period of time and its liabilities increased by 78,000 during the same period, equity in the business must have. This is going to be an accounting equation problem. It's a little bit tricky because we're talking about the timing rather than just a point in time. But it's similar to us recording a transaction where we're recording what is happening over a certain time period on the aggregate on the entire accounting equation. Therefore, we can just use that accounting equation to calculate. We'll start by writing the accounting equation. I'm going to abbreviate assets. Let's put it over here. I'm going to put assets equal the liabilities plus the equity. And then we'll just say that the assets are going to be increasing by... 111,000 during the time period and that's going to equal the liabilities increasing 78,000 and equity uh, plus equity and equals so we're going to solve here for equity so we're going to subtract the 78,000 from both sides of our equation 78,000 78,000 then if we do the subtraction, do the math, 111 minus the 78,000 provides us with 33,000. Then equaling the liabilities, which of course, if we do the math and subtract out the 78,000 minus the 78,000, we get zero plus the equity. And therefore, we could say that the equity equals 33,000. If we just turn that back around, equity equals the 33 thousand for this problem next question if the liabilities of a company increase eighty thousand during the period of time and equity in the company decreases twenty two thousand during the same period what was the effect on the assets so it's going to be a similar type of problem we're going to put this into the accounting equation not worrying about the fact that it's not a static point in time but the, recognizing the change over a time frame and also being careful with the fact, of course, that we have this decrease happening here as we put this information into the accounting equation. We will start with our accounting equation of assets equaling liabilities plus the equity. 
If the company increases 80,000 during the year for the liabilities, so liabilities are increasing 80,000, and the equity is decreasing, so I'm gonna say plus, and then a negative equity of 22,000. So I'm gonna keep the accounting equation the same and put negative into our equation. So it's plus a negative 22 that we're gonna have to deal with. That's gonna be equaling to the assets here. Now, whenever I see a sign that's gonna be the same, like we have two signs together, we have a negative and a positive between the uh, 80 and the 22, I would convert that to just a negative. A negative and a positive together, if we convert that to just one sign, would be the same as if we were saying 80,000 plus a negative 22, it's the same as saying 80,000 minus the 22,000, and then deal with our um, equation from there. And then, of course, all we have is the subtraction problem of 80,000 minus 22,000, providing us with the assets of 58,000. Next question. Company receives 12,200 from the owner to establish a proprietorship. The effect on the accounting equation would be. So we're gonna record the transaction in terms of the accounting equation and see the effect on the accounting equation. I'm going to write down the accounting equation of assets equal liabilities plus the equity. Then we're gonna put the transaction in terms of the accounting equation. So company received 12,200 from owner to establish a proprietorship. So first question, is cash affected? I would say, yeah, we received, I'm assuming cash in this case, of 12,200. So we're gonna say cash is going up. In terms of the accounting equation, that's an asset. So I'm gonna say that 12,200 is going up here. Then we're gonna say who put the money in. The other side, the other account that would be affected is the uh, capital account because the owner put the money in and therefore we would be on the other side over here on the equity side. We know that that has to increase for a couple different reasons. One, this side of, of the account went up, and therefore if this is on the other side of the equal sign and it's what is affected, then it must be going up. And two, because equity represents the net value or what is owed to the owner, therefore uh, if the owner put more money in, more money is due back to the owner and must be increasing the equity. Note that if this is a uh, test question in terms of a multiple choice question, they can ask you many different things here. They can ask you, you know, they can have multiple choice questions saying you know assets went up and equity went up or they can have assets went up and say equity went down those types of uh, of test questions they could ask you just one side in terms of a correct answer and just list out what is correct or not did assets go up did assets go down did liabilities go up did liabilities go down did equity go up or down and uh, those are some formats you might see just so i would write down no matter what they ask the entire thing so that you're ready for whatever they ask and in so doing you might feel that you're doing more work but by writing the whole thing down you're kind of double checking yourself you're using the double entry accounting system as a check to check yourself next question use the following information as of december 31st to determine equity we have cash we have building we have equipment we have liabilities of 58,000 176,000 207,000 and 142,000 respectively first we will write down the accounting equation of assets equaling liabilities plus equity so plus equity equity then we're just going to list the accounts that are going to be assets, liabilities, and equities. So we could say cash is going to be an asset of 58,000. We're going to say that the building is going to be an asset of 176,000 equipment. will be an asset of 207,000 and then we've got liability we have liabilities they just listed as liabilities so we'll just put those in the liabilities 142,000 not going to tell us what those liabilities are in terms of payables or whatnot and then we'll just sum that up so we're going to say the assets then are adding up to the 58,000 plus this 176,000 plus the 207,000 or 
441,000. That will then equal the liabilities, which is just going to be that 142,000 plus the equity, which is just going to be what we're looking for. <laughs> so we're going to subtract the 142,000 from each side, 142,000. And then if we do the math, we're going to say that 441,000 minus 142 is going to be equal to the 299,000, which will equal. If we do the math here, we're taking the 142 minus 142 equal in a zero. And that's going to be equal to E. Therefore, E is equal to the 299,000. And that's equity, of course. Equity is equal to the 299,000.